Hello, Sharp friends and family. I'm in our SharpSoft Cloud Estimator, um, and now we're going to be talking about our rounding sheet. So we finished up a bid, we've done our markups in the summary sheet, now we're going to go to the rounding sheet. So we click on the rounding sheet here. What you'll see is there's the total bid price and then the total rounded price. So in the defaults, we could cover that in another video, but in the defaults, you can determine how you want to write, round your numbers to the nearest dollar. So we click on action, the nearest cent, the 10 cents or hundredth of a cent. I wanna reset the rounding sheet. I'll hit okay. I hit actions, auto balance, and notice now everything has been put to a dollar. So if I click on this particular item, the eight inch sewer main, it tells me to zero the bid. It's 131.97. But my overall job is off by $30 on $1.4 million. So now what we have the option to do, this mobilization, this is going to be the first thing that we want to do on the job. So maybe we put $25,000 in the mobilization. These colors are some rounding sheet KPIs that you could adjust in the defaults. So now maybe what I want to do is lock this particular item and notice it shows a little lock key on there. And then my job is off by $11,000 uh, 771. So if I click on any one of these items, it'll tell me exactly where I need to put it to zero the job. So I could manually type that in if I want to. Um, simply just clicking in 375 or 400 and then because this is a locked item I could go actions and then auto balance and it's going to drive this and then take that out of these other numbers. So once we go here we can go reports Report tree, notice I'm not having to save anything, I'm not exporting anything, I'm not removing anything. I'm instantaneously printing a report. So this is your job name, this is your company name, this is your logo. Notice that mobilization now is $25,000. The rest of the bid is there. I also have proposal conditions. Super easy, massively flexible.